Again, according to NCAA uh, policies, we will have an opening statement from Coach Drew. We'll open up uh, questioning for the student athletes after that, and then uh, they will dis be dismissed and we'll come back to Coach Drew. We knew whoever we drew was gonna be um, a really good team and, and you know, uh, Maryland's a, uh, an excellent team. Um, you know, one of the better teams in the country. You know, I'm extremely proud of our guys. Uh, it's been an amazing year with um, this group. Uh, they've been very special to us. There's a lot of tears in the locker room, not just because of we lost, that's part of it, but because of the friendships and the camaraderie and the brotherhood um, that we've had uh, together. And um, I genuinely think our team's gonna miss more than anything just being with each other every day at practice and, uh, and on trips and in games. Um, it's something special when, when you have that uh, brotherhood together. You know, really proud of Tavon and Alec. Thought um, they made key baskets when we needed it, kept us in the game, and um, gave us a chance to, uh, to win at the end. Okay, questions for student athletes? Raise your hand. Ashley's on this side, Tanner over here. Right. Paul Orn with the Northwest Indiana Times. Alec, what was the thought process in the final 30 seconds there? What would you guys have drawn up and kind of what did you see? You know, we were down three. Um, we, needed a, we needed a three in order to tie the game. We wanted to extend the game into overtime and we thought we would, uh, you know, it would give, us our, give ourselves a chance and they played great D. They, they switched they switch a screen and, you know, I was supposed to pop back for a three and just they guarded it well, they defended it well. Other questions? Are there any other questions for student athletes? Okay, here's one. Alec, just does this hurt more because it was so close? Any game you lose hurts, and uh, especially one that we knew that we, you know, put ourselves in a situation to win. You know, there were other things along the course of the game. We missed more free throws. I missed two free throws, completely uncharacteristic, and you know, missed a couple bu easy bunnies under the basket. It's just you know, different things that that add up over time that could have helped us. Uh, you know, win this game. Here's a question on our left. You guys had such a tough time uh, getting to the basket and scoring in the paint. How, how, why was that? Tavon? Uh, well, I find that uh, they're really big uh, in the post and uh, uh, made us have to uh, drive and kick to open, wide open three point uh, teammates a lot. And Alec? You know, they, they took a couple charges early in the game, and it just, you know, it kind of, you kind of lose your aggression. Not, I mean, not lose your aggression, but it kind of makes you second guess yourself when you're driving into the lane. I mean, you got to start kicking out for open shots. And so they, they did a good job of, you know, stepping in there and taking hits and causing a couple fouls. Other questions? There's one on our left. Alec, what was it like playing with four fouls in a game like that? You don't worry about it. You just, you got to keep playing the game. I mean, it doesn't, you got to be out there for your team. You just, you got to remember to be smart. And if there's a situation where, uh, you know, someone's going to get an easy layup, you just got to remember that you can't foul them. And you can't foul someone on the drive to take yourself out of the game. On our right. Tavon, was the game plan to shoot 27 three-pointers or was that just what they were giving you guys today? Uh, well, I think that when we found out that it was uh, kind of difficult for us to drive over and over again, uh, we had to stick to what we were good at and what we practiced mostly in practice. And uh, the three-point shot was there, and uh, it worked well for us today. Any other questions? Okay, we will dismiss the student athletes. Thank you. And we'll open it up for uh, Coach Drew. Raise your hand if you have a question. Tanner, front here. Tanner, right down there. Bryce, did you expect that? Did you think they were going to foul at that point to put you on the line, or did you think they were going to try, try to have you tie the game and go for the, the three-pointer? No, we, we thought they would defend. You know, they're an excellent defensive team. Uh, they take pride in their defense, um, which they should. And so, you know, I think any coach that puts that much pride in your defense thinks you can get a stop to, to win a game. On our right. It's a pretty clear picture of Carter's hand getting hit. Sure, there's a lot of emotion in the locker room. Well, how do you coach your guys through not pinning it on the refs or anything like that? You, you know, I, I think, you know, 
the game of basketball, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of things that go on. And, and our team's whole focus all year has been, you know, worry about the things that we could control. And a lot of that's our effort, um, our execution, our togetherness. And, um, and, and, you know, there are probably different things throughout the game that could have gone either way. So, you know, I'm extremely proud of our guys. I'm extremely blessed to, to have been around these guys for a year, um, this, this group that we have. And, um, you know, we had our chances. We had several chances, not just that last possession, but possessions before that we could have taken the lead, which maybe could have changed the tempo and, uh, and the flow of the game. We have Bill on our right. What was the final play? Yeah, you, you know, I'll, I'll take the blame for that. You know, um, our guys executed it well. I thought Maryland did a, a really good job. Um, we tried to do something a little different off one of the plays that we usually run because um, we wanted to get, obviously, Alec uh, Peters the ball um, to give him a chance to, uh, to tie it. And, and, you know, Smatris is a fifth-year senior, um, been in a lot of games, and, and he made a really good uh, defensive play at the end. Raise your hand for questions. Is there any? Okay, we have one on our third row. Uh, Bryce, when you were drawing up the final play there, did you consider at all throwing the ball in the backcourt, having that player throw a length of the court pass to a guy who would tip it to a shooter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know, we have a lot of different looks, but that, that was not talked about at the time. <laughs> Obviously, you've been asked about that a million times in your life, but now having lived through a tight NCAA tournament game as a player, mm -hmm. and now you're in a, that tight down to the last second kind of thing as a coach. Like, just what are your emotions having lived through it as a player and coach? And, um, you know, it went a different way, but I'm sure you can relate to how your players are feeling having played a game yeah. that tight. You, you know, it's easier as a player, I think. Um, you know, you, you take it hard, but a coach, you know, you don't sleep very well for a long time. So, um, you know, you second guess everything that you do as a coach, as a player. You know, you just go out and work harder in the gym. Um, and so for a coach, I definitely think, you know, there's more of that that sticks with you for a longer period of time. In the front, on the right. Coach, same question about three-pointers. 27 today, I think it's mm -hmm. been three months since you had that many in a game. Is that what they were giving you? Yes, you, you know, their, their length really gave us difficulty at the beginning of the game when we got to the rim. And, um, you know, every day in practice we work on uh, penetrating and passing and getting the extra penetration. And we haven't had to do this, you know, in a long time. And I thought our guys made a great adjustment, you know, after that initial uh, start of the game to, to really penetrate. And, um, you know, 12 threes is, is just as good as we shot all year. But, again, that's what the defense was giving us. And so our guys did a great job um, um, getting looks and penetrating to pass. Okay, we have about a minute left, Bill. I'm sure you were in the moment, but during that timeout, was there one moment where you thought back to your no. shot? No, no, I'm, I'm way beyond that. Any other questions? Here's one in front. Can you just kind of summarize your thoughts on how this year went now, 28 wins with the group that it was really thought next year was going to be the year? You, you know, kind of what I said earlier, it, you know, it's been a great blessing to be around these guys, not just for the 28 wins and and you know, making the NCAA tournament, but just everything else that goes along with them. It's a sensational group of kids that, that, that you love sitting down, having, having dinner with. Um, they're just really, really good uh, people. And um, you know, they accomplished more than what anyone thought we'd ever accomplish this year. You know, winning um, a game or some games in the NCAA tournament definitely would have been you know, the icing on the cake. Um, but I'm proud of our guys you know, that we were in a position to win. The last five minutes we were in a position. And um, I think that's something they can be proud about. We have time for one more. Anyone? Coach, thank you very much. Thank you.